Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those that don't know me, my name is Khatlisa Tsubela, your girl K, Lisa Bella on the gram. You know what it does, what it done did, and what it does do done did. And join me as we unleash whatever it does today. Things girls lie about. I'm sorry girls for exposing us like this but like these are things that you know we need to discuss we need to talk about let the guys know and like maybe like give them hints in places where they need since do you understand so the first lie girls tell is their name I personally I agree with this I have done this a lot of the times you know like you'd go party now and there's this guy and like he's annoying you or like he's trying to like push his luck or something now or you just like bump into random people and they ask you what's your name I'm like hi my name is Mpo or my name hi my name is Bunte or something you know just to like it's to keep my identity you know like low or something because I don't think you need to know me right now I'd be like you like know me know me you know but it's like also like is like just to like keep things like like if i want you i'll tell you my name is khatli so straight up if i don't want you and if like i'm hesitant as to oh, what are you doing here i'll tell you my name is something else you understand yeah so girls lie about their name another thing girls lie about is their age girls lie about their age because you know, a lot of the times now, you find that it's like, we're talking over the phone and I'm, I sound mature, you know, I sound mature. And like to you, it's like this high maturity level because you know guys like mature later than girls. So like, I sound like really mat mature, you like 17 and I sound mature and like, I sound like I'm 23, 25, you know, life has hit me in and out and you know, I've had it all and I sound mature and you talking to me and then you ask me what's my age. Now, but you think I'm like maybe about my 18, 20, 23, 10, 10, 10, 10, 15. Then it's like a turn off for you guys, and then you guys like maybe like now don't want to talk to us anymore or don't want to be with us because of like the age difference or the age whatever but we basically like lie about our age because a lot of the times when girls tell their age or when someone tells their age it's either they're gonna be disappointed or like it's gonna turn them off or it's gonna turn them on so it's either or oh by the way if you disagree or if you agree with me or you got some say drop it in the comment section let's get laid Talk to me in the comment section and I'll answer and let's like make this the whole conversation not just like a video of me like you know understand talk to me in the comment section man one like girls love to tell is that they are lesbian or they have a boyfriend if you are approaching a girl she tells you she's lesbian or when she tells you she has a boyfriend boy if you don't get your no, where does that come from? Yeah, okay. So if she tells you that she's lesbian, if she tells you that she's lesbian or she has a boyfriend, it's basically a nice way of saying, pack your bags, leave me alone, I'm not interested. Period. Period. Like, there's no need to even go further. When did you become lesbian? When did you guys start dating? And there are guys like that, like, are you not seeing the signs? Did you not hear Guti? Hey, I'm lesbian or I have a boyfriend understand so it's just a way of like giving fat so. okay so another lie girls tell is their body count okay so I wouldn't know about this one because my body count is zero but I think girls will lie about their body count well girls will lie about their body count the same way you guys will lie about your body count I mean you're gonna tell me your body count is four and you expect mine to be one or no wait now with guys now when it comes to body counts it's acceptable for their body count to be about my five six seven eight up when it's the girl telling you that no my body count is five six seven up it's a problem do you understand so that's why girls lie about their body counts because you know obviously to you guys it sounds sweet and stuff when, you t when another girl tells you that their body count is zero one your heart goes giga 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 do you understand but yours is like sitting on a hundred or something what is that but anyways yeah so we lie they girls lie about their body count just to like 
also you know for girls like body count things like sexual things it's something also for some for many it's like something sacred or like something you don't want to be exposing good you know i slept with 50 people or no i've only slept with one people for girls it's not like that easy or i feel like society hasn't made it that easy for us to easily open up about like our body counts you know okay girls lie about their shoe size because boys and society tells us if you're a girl and you're not wearing size 4 or size 5 or you're wearing size 5 and above or size 6 and above you have a foot of a man what is that what is that but yeah i feel like that is why girls don't like lie about their shoe size not how you can see her size is size 10 you're allowing her to tell you it's size 5 yeah but yeah you know the like the perfect shoe size for ladies is like four or five that's why maybe if this is nine it's like uh, should i tell you should i not and i want to find yeah another thing girls lie about is that she won't tell anyone if we are talking and like a girl tells you i won't tell anyone First of all, they have a best friend. Second of all, they have a boyfriend. Second of all, they have like family or whatever that like, you know, they will tell, they will tell. But like number one, like girls who, who they tell first is number one, their best friends. If it's not their best friends or if they don't have a best friend like myself, they'll tell their boyfriend. So if she says she won't tell anyone, girl, her boyfriend already knows. Her best friend already knows anyone excludes best friend and boyfriend because she's gonna spill the tea for them but what i like with such things now it always stays like for example my boyfriend and i when we like talk things you know it always stays like between us there's never been like a moment where like he goes out and tells the whole world or i go out and tell the whole world like we're like understand do you yeah. a lie girls tell is that looks don't matter they matter sometimes but you know when i look at looks now and when i look at a person now you need to think like not how horror like there's ugly people in the world do you understand that but when you're like looking for a partner you always want to look like you you want to look for like is he beautiful no is he handsome is he like okay is he needs to tidy his hair if we have children what what kind of what kind of children are we going to produce? Scobolicious or some cute nanas with, with natural hair or when they grow up is the child gonna have a beard or do you understand? So like when we look at looks, when I look at looks, I'm thinking for a future. My children need to look good. Sorry. My my name needs to be raised high. The Tubellas must be gorgeous, sexy, handsome, their song period. Period. Okay, so like this is the biggest lie girls tell is that I'm okay. You know, girls are very like emotional. We very emotional and a lot of the times we're not okay, but I find it that we don't say okay, we say I'm okay so that we don't have to explain what is going on with us with us. A lot of the times also when girls are not okay, it's not only because she fell today it's because she fell today and that woke up other things that have happened in her life it woke up pains that she's been feeling the other weeks or something so it's like a bunch of things leading to and something leads to it being boom then she cries and another time it's like things like you know like when you're not okay but you can't really say what's wrong what's going on with you that's why some people would just prefer to say i'm okay or i'm tired because the minute you just someone says I'm tired, you just you know, do you understand? It's not like you're gonna you tell a person I'm not okay, then they're gonna wanna help you. Some situations you you can't help everybody. Some things another person won't be able to help you. Some adversities are some things that you have to go through. You have to go through. Gosh. You have to go through. Not you, your best friend, your brother in the whole world. Really understand? But yeah, we lie about okay because maybe we don't know how to express what's going on with us or maybe at that moment like i'm a person where if i'm not okay and you see me in that moment that i'm not okay 
talk to me after like two hours ask me about like after two hours or i'll come to you and i'll talk to you and tell you after like a few hours in the moment it's a lot for me and i don't want to cry break down not that i haven't you know maybe i did at home and now i'm still not okay and then i must break down again so we just avoid that hope you understand so this other girl told me that um she she lied about being on her period and the reason why she lied on about being on her period is because her boyfriend or whatever like wanted to be like intimate like sexually or whatever and she was like no i'm having period pains no my god my boobies or something so girls lie about being on their periods about being on their periods just to avoid like sexual intercourse or like sexual or like intimate things you know but another thing is like you need to understand that sometimes on our periods we just want to be left alone or we just want food you can stay there a little bit we just want food do you understand okay so i got one that said that girls lie about cheating on a person or cheat you're cheating i don't understand how girls lie about cheating because when a girl cheats she cheats because she's not happy in the relationship and she's found someone that's going to treat her better so if she's cheating that means she's moved from point a she's going to point b why would she want to go here there's no need for her to go back here and go lie so i don't understand why girls would lie about cheating because girl if this one's treating you better and this one's not girl take this one leave him there's no need to cheat if if you find yourself in a relationship where you're not getting what you want just get out get up and leave in a restaurant, when the waiter is doing nonsense, when the food is ugly, you get up, you leave. Period. Don't now waste the time, the person's time, now cheat on them, keep them there, or whatever. Girls lie about still contacting their ex without you knowing. I can't relate. I can't relate anymore. I can't relate. I can't relate, honestly. I can't relate. But I feel like if I could relate now, I would be texting my ex and not telling my boyfriend about it because obviously now, you're talking to someone who you're going to plan a future with or you think you're going to plan a future with and who's in your present but now you're also entertaining someone from your past there's a reason why you guys broke up there's a reason why you're in this relationship so i don't understand why you're still talking to ex I understand a lot of the times reasons why i talk to my ex is maybe for like I need to ask something or but I don't talk to any of my exes right now. I don't have exes. Uh, what are what's, what is it? What are those? What are those? Like what are exes? I, I have no exes. Another big 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 lie girls tell is that they're not jealous. Listen here, girls, men, boys, dogs, cats, vaginas, get jealous. Everybody gets jealous, but it's what you do with the jealousy. Like, don't allow now the jealousy to get to your head or you, or allow the jealousy to take control of you. Now, you are jealous over. No. Just, like, keep the normal jealousy. Like, obviously, you're going to be mad if your boyfriend's sitting there with another girl, or you're going to be jealous. You're sitting there with another girl. They're laughing nice. God, when it comes to you, you don't even smile. Do you understand? Obviously, you're going to be jealous now. Let's say he pulls the door for another girl. God, he tells you, open the door yourself. What is that? Obviously, you're going to get jealous. Like, there's also, like, little things that make us jealous. But now, don't let, like, the jealousy, like, you know. But as a girl, Nami, I admit, I would get jealous. Showcase. And that's one thing we lie about, that we're not jealous, whereas we are. Mm. Girls lie and say that they don't like being chased. Can I tell you something? Boy, chase her. Chase us. We like being chased. Chase us. Chase us. If you don't, another man will. And then, I'm gone. Do you understand? Because he's chasing me. I want to be chased. If you're not chasing me, I'm gone. Do you understand? Another lie girls tell is that they will see or you text her, may you please come over? And she's like, I'll see. Ah, she doesn't want. Ah, she doesn't want. It's the same thing as like, um, you ask her, may you please come over or something. But not all the time now, but sometimes they lie, they lie and say that my mom said no or my dad said no. Sometimes, you know, as girls, like I am a person, like I don't like feeling bad or like I do feel bad a lot of the times. 
and if like someone asked me to be with them and I don't want to be with them I'm gonna try my best to say no in a nice way you know By saying I'll see or my mom said no something like that never a direct no I can't come or I don't want to come do you understand but y'all I'll see I'll let you know my mom said no no it's all no no yeah so that is the end of this video if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up Comment down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you. Bye.